Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Alex and I'm a composer and uh, uh, well composer turned entrepreneur I might say because I've quit my job a few months back um, and it was the most secure job in the world probably one of, one of the most secure jobs in the world. I was a teacher here in Germany and um, that means you're a civil servant. You're going to get, you know, paid by the state or the county. Um, you're going to get pensions that are taking care of your uh, health insurance. There are many, there are numerous benefits when it comes to taxes. Um, but it was actually something that didn't fill me with a kind of joy, and that wa that I I was on, I was felt. Had I continued, I would have become a grumpy old man, right? And for a person who loves to be with young people, who loves the enthusiasm, the energy, um, to be just, um, yeah, uh, for, for me that was a horrible, a horrible vision that I didn't want to make a reality. So I quit. And... Um, yeah, this is um, also the story that I want to tell you. Um, the story of me firstly quitting the job and then building a multi-billion, multi-million, sorry, I'm not reaching that high, multi-million dollar enterprise, uh, being a successful composer. Um, and you're going to be all part of this and I'm going to tell you each step that I'm taking and the mindset behind it and the the person and of course the music because ultimately this channel is about spreading joy through music so if you didn't know I'm writing a soundtrack for the Silmarillion fully immersive wonderfully energetic music always deep always intense taking you on a journey to the first age of Arda <laughs> and there's many many uh, and there's much more music coming um, new album Turin Turambar coming in the first half of year, this year, I expect. Um, but let's talk about today's topic: productivity. Now, here's a productivity hack, and this is one that I've found to be making such a difference for me as a composer, or generally as a creative. So what can you do? I'm, I mean, I'm, you've probably read so many blogs, seen so many vid videos, um, and this is part of the problem, actually, about productivity. Uh, there's so much inform information available, freely available, um, and good information, but nobody teaches you how to use this. Um, so here's what. Um, chances are you're watching this video but this is not the only tab you have open. There are other tabs. Uh, maybe uh, if you're on the phone, uh, you have uh, the weather app. If you're in Germany, if you're German, you probably have the weather app open, um, some WhatsApp, you know, maybe Snapchat and what and whatnot. And then you, you have a timer because I don't know, uh, some 10 years back, you started timing something. And it's still running. Uh, just kidding. Um, anyway, um, one of the most important productivity killers is overconsumption. So, um, how can I be a creative and tap into the creative consciousness, into you know creativity? Let's say universal creativity that is out there. Um, how can I do that when I'm just constantly putting things uh, on my plate, in a way, when I'm constantly overburdening myself with, with, um, with input <clears throat> and stimula, stimuli? Um, and that's just something that for me has made a, made a difference, to so just shut out all the distractions. Um, and yeah, people do this for a while, but then they quickly revert back to old habits. So going back to the Atomic Habit, Habits book, this is of course great to change to change your habits. So 
uh, get, please go back to the video that I posted on that um, for for stopping that input just um, if you're a, a composer or an audio engineer you, you've heard the phrase shit in shit out <laughs> and it usually means that if you if you don't record well it's not going to sound well but I mean Look at it. Uh, if you're feeding yourself with junk news all the time, what are your thoughts going to be? And if your thoughts are going to be that, what are your actions going to be? And then what kind of person are you going to become? Right? How can you be creative when there's always a load of stuff coming in, you know? And it's mostly... I'm not saying that you shouldn't aim at all times to learn. That's something that really made a difference for me too. Empty cup mentality. But when I learn, so when I'm, if you're, if you're watching this video, right, don't watch, this. stop watching this video if you have other tabs open, if you do, if you're doing other things, right, then it's not useful. And if I, if I'm reading a book, I'm taking notes, I'm doing something to actively make it part of myself, right. And um, same when I don't watch vi YouTube videos like many composers do that. And there is a lot of great content out there. Like uh, I once stumbled upon Mattia Chiappa, an Italian composer. Absolutely wonderful personality, great music, great mock-ups, you know, the virtual orchestration. Absolutely wonderful. But I, I would... I, but I made it a rule, I'm not going to watch his videos just for watching them, you know. But I'm going to take notes or open my DAW and replicate some of the things he's doing, um, understanding, right? So, um, uh, yeah, well, actually, this is, this is, this is it for me. Um, getting a better 2024 is not about doing more. It's actually do, doing less of the shit, <laughs> right? So um, shutting out distractions, doing one thing, keeping your phone off for extended periods of time throughout the day. I have mine on off on Sundays as a rule and always on holidays. And I find, find it baffling that on holidays, everyone's offering free Wi-Fi and stuff. I don't want to be connected continuously. It's overburdening. Okay. Hope this was helpful and you're having a great day. Uh, cheers. Take care.